What's going on? Welcome to my channel. And today I'll be sharing with you just my regular, typical day of eating. Now, keep in mind that I am a big guy. I'm six foot four, 250 to 255 pounds. The food choices that I'll be showing you will likely help you out with making your own decisions. So what I typically do is my first meal is usually eggs. And I say that eggs are like the glue that keeps my life together because it's, no, it's a joke, but eggs are so versatile. You can put eggs on anything. I typically do some kind of frozen veggies that I keep in the freezer because it's super easily accessible and I cover it in eggs. I put any kind of dry seasonings on it. Um, I also use um, Joseph's bread. Uh, you can click the link down in the description below if you wanna you know, buy it yourself. It's very good for weight loss. It has great calories, super low for weight loss, high protein, high fiber, and it just helps me stay on track a lot better. But what you also have to keep in mind is that I currently do intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is just a type of eating schedule. So I typically eat within an eight hour eating window. My eating window typically is from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. So here I'm putting two servings of frozen mixed vegetables. Now I'm using just a mix of peas, carrots, and corn. I'm gonna take some extra virgin olive oil, spray a little bit so it doesn't stick. Throw in your frozen vegetables. Cover it in egg. Here I'm using chipotle roasted garlic seasoning. It's one of my favorites. A little bit of salt. Mix it up. And it's done. Now this right here is the main ingredient. Joseph's pita bread. It's only 60 calories, got a ton of protein, ton of fiber, and I use it pretty much every single day, whether it be a wrap, we're adding it to my breakfast, lunch, or dinner, but it's low calorie, it's amazing for weight loss. And the way you make it is exactly like this. You throw it on the pan. You wait, let it toast. Then all you do is flip it. Ah, that's hot. Flip it. Meal number one. So we're also going to add for dessert, after my late breakfast, two oranges. Let's try to weigh these out. About 500 grams with skin. So now we're going to do a little snack. It's about a few hours afterwards. I'm hungry, so we're going to eat this right now. We're going to take another Joseph's pita bread with some turkey. We're going to take about couple of ounces, put it over here, let's do four ounces of turkey, close enough. Now this is my snack, not snack, snack that I usually eat, it's very quick, it's easy to prepare, it doesn't take much effort, and it's very, very filling. So a lot of times I don't feel like cooking. And when you don't feel like cooking, it's really, really important to make sure that foods around you are very easily accessible to you, but actually align with your goals. Instead of making a whole lunch, what I'm actually going to do is have another wrap. I absolutely love these wraps. I'm using a different kind of Joseph's wrap because it's it's got great macros, great calories, it's good for weight loss. And again, I'll be putting on a honey turkey onto these wraps with some uh, honey mustard on it because it's absolutely delicious and the reality is you don't always feel like cooking but when you don't feel like cooking you want to make sure the choices around you are the best for you so check out what i'm actually making for lunch today so here's what we got we got joseph's bread and if you actually want to buy it there should be a link down in the description below in case you want to check it out we're using this is one of my favorite sauces ever g hughes uh, sugar-free honey mustard sauce. So I'm putting about seven ounces of turkey on this wrap, putting some honey mustard on that and enjoying it. 
So no gym today. Gonna go for a nice 10 to 12, maybe 13,000 step walk. Try to get some cardio in. And here's a snack that I'll be eating before I go for my walk. A little yogurt. And trying out this new bread. It's a zero carb bread. Here's the macros. I don't know if you can see this. So that bread and yogurt wasn't the best idea. Uh, it was rye bread and blueberry yogurt. I was actually just trying to try the bread out. It's a zero carb bread, about 45 calories per slice, high protein. It's pretty good for a sandwich, but with yogurt, I don't think so. All right, so it's time for dinner. I have nothing prepared, so it's time to make some chicken. I'm just gonna clean up a few chicken breasts, cut them up, put a little bit of olive oil so it just doesn't stick and mix it up. Here I'm using again the Chipotle garlic grill masters dry seasoning. You can put as much as you want, but I like extra just because it tastes amazing. I'm gonna take some salt. and some garlic powder. Spray a bit of uh, olive oil Pam spray. Throw it in, wait, and there's your meal. And I'm also having this sugar-free honey mustard dress. So it's been about 45 minutes, maybe an hour after dinner, and my eating window ends a little later, so I have time for a little snack. And I got a little sugar craving, so I'll be having one of these Atkins bars for my snack. And it's got pretty decent calories. I don't eat them that often, but it's not a bad choice if you want to do it yourself. So check out exactly what it looks like. That's what it looks like. 130 calories, a little bit of protein. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it'll get rid of my sugar cravings. Now, if there's any single takeaway from this whole video is that you have to focus on volume. Whether the volume comes in by adding more vegetables to your meals, like I did with my wraps, I put in vegetables to my wraps, I added tomatoes on the side, I added cucumbers on the side, maybe you didn't see, I added vegetables to my scramble, I put even tomatoes on the side of my scramble. But you have to make sure you're eating more, right? Differently, maybe you can add in you know, fruit for desserts, like I had watermelon, because I absolutely love watermelon and it fills me up tremendously because instead of eating a couple of cookies, couple of Oreos, although they're absolutely delicious, I would rather have fruit because fruit will fill me up so much more than, th than those cookies would. So that's what you have to keep in mind is making sure you're filling yourself up for the most amount of food that have the least amount of calories. So you should do your own research and see, you know, what calories and what macronutrient breakdown you would need for your own goals. So I also eat lean proteins, I eat tons of vegetables, fruits, I don't do keto, I don't cut out carbs, I don't do any of that stuff. I eat regular foods in the right moderation, in the right portions, so that I can still enjoy foods. As you'll see, I'll be eating some things that typically you wouldn't eat, sometimes it's some chocolates, sometimes it's some ice cream, but it all fits within my caloric needs. Now, my current caloric needs are for weight loss. So I'm looking to lose about 10 to 15 pounds in the next few months. And I'm going on vacation, so I want to look a little bit better and just feel a little bit better. If you like this kind of content, just drop a comment down below. Tell me what you like about it. Maybe you want to see a different kind of video. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you like this type of content. I would really appreciate it because it helps me out tremendously. And I'll see you next time.